So when you think witchcraft, when you think spells and hexes and things that go bump in the night, you usually think of Salem, Massachusetts. Well, that's the home of the modern witch, right? Wrong. That's the mythological witch that they like to talk about in Massachusetts. But uh, here in Stewartstown, Pennsylvania, they have their own local witch. <laughs> Hollow Road. I'm right next to this trailer home community. We move down this little paved road. And so basically we're looking for a house. But not just any house. We're looking for something called the Hex House. Why the Hex House? Well, according to local legend, a witch used to live there. And um, this witch had magical powers. And I only know what it looks like from pictures, and it's hard to find in the dress. So I don't know how far we have to go down the road, but uh, stick with me. So this is the Hex House. Um, according to local legend, it belonged to a witch doctor and faith healer by the name of Nelson Raymeyer. He was into something called powwow magic that uh, was inherited from the Pennsylvania Dutch and which came over from Germany. Um, during the time of uh, around 1928 or so, um, he came into contact with another witch whose last name was Blymeyer. Blymeyer claimed that he put a curse on him and it affected his health and his health became so poor that he decided to confront Raymeyer in this house behind me here. Eventually the two got into a scuffle and uh, Blymeyer killed Raymeyer in the house. They tried to actually burn down the house, Blymeyer and his associates, and here's where it gets good. The house didn't burn down. It in fact stayed in this condition as you see it behind me. And then of course it's been renovated, but uh, the bones of it withstood the conflagration. And everyone attributed this to the magic that Nelson Ray Meyer had placed on the house as well, some kind of protective aura. This became known as the York Witch Trial and it caused a sensation in the local press, whatever press was available at the time, but certainly the community picked up on it. And so here you have it. I, I believe his descendants still own the house. I don't believe it's open to the public anymore, but it is quite a fantastical story here in Stewartstown. So I want you to think about that for a second. 1929. York County, Pennsylvania, <laughs> was having a witch trial. I mean, we're not talking about the 18th and 19th century. We're talking about the 20th century. So it gives you something of an insight how these rural towns, even in the 1920s, after World War I, were kind of out of touch with the rest of the world. They weren't worried about scientific revolutions. They weren't worried about modern technology. They weren't worried about the so-called triumph of science over religion and faith. They were talking superstitions. They were talking magic. And many still believed it. Thanks for traveling with Trey. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you next time.